For too long, vast majority of One Piece fandom believed that Roger and Whitebeard stand on their own league and nobody from this generation can actually be called Pirate King level for some reasons. But chapter 1079 proved definitely that this is a miss and people from this generation can reach to Pirate King level because objectively speaking, Shanks is there. By the end of the video, I will tell you why Shanks' achievement in this chapter clearly is the best feats that we saw in the story. But before that, let's talk about the hype Oda was trying to show to us in this chapter. Because Shanks using the signature attack of Roger means something. Let me ask you, what more Oda should do? Shanks is a man who had the straw hat, had a golden supreme blade, is the freest man on the sea, and the same style pirate as Roger, and now he is using Kamusari, the attack of Roger. Tell me what Oda is trying to imply here. The only obvious answer is that Oda, in every possible way, is trying to tell us that Shanks is here to replace Roger, or at some scenario, maybe even more. Shanks destroyed Captain Kidd and his entire crew with a single attack, Kamusari. But to any objective eye, that was a better and superior version of what Roger did to Odin. This wasn't Yamato trying to make a thunder bagua. Shanks' attack was superior to Roger. Now I understand that Roger did not really want to harm Odin, and I believe Roger is capable of doing more, but the reason Shanks is doing better on screen is because Oda wants to tell us that Shanks is almost there. On top of clear hype, the achievement Shanks showed in this chapter clearly is enough for to call him the strongest character alive and among the strongest character ever. On top of the strongest attack he had on screen, he showed clearly the strongest conqueror Saki and more. And actually above all of them, Shanks' speed was incredibly godly. I mean, his attack power was great, but his speed was a cheat code. He jumped from one side of the sea to another in a slice of a second, destroyed the entire ship, and then disappeared as if he's transporting to another place. In Film Red, Shanks showed his speed better than Kizaru, and this chapter proved it, that Shanks is that good, and I can safely say, this is the best speed feat we saw in the story. And of course, the first attack of Shanks can't be his strongest. We know he has so much more in his arsenal. A great armament hockey, the capability of killing hockey, and of course, a god-tier swordsmanship. But in one chapter alone, not only he replaced a better version of Roger attack, he showed the best attack power, best conquer hockey, best best observation and best speed in One Piece story to any objective eye. If right now we say Shanks have a better on-screen feat than Roger, we are not exaggerating at all. Again, I understand that Roger should be better, but so far, Roger got two attacks, Shanks got two attacks, and Shanks one actually looks better. Shanks achievement is clearly better than Roger and his hype is very extremely close to him. I still gonna say Roger is stronger than Shanks, but the gap should be like one or two percent. Based on feet and based on hype, Shanks is the next Roger and clearly comparable and extremely close to Roger himself. But again, none of this should be a news because Kaido himself hailed Shanks in the same group as Zebek, Roger, Whitebeard, and a man who almost killed him. Shanks is Pirate King level based on any logic, and I hope what I said makes sense to you and you accept this as a fact. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I see you all at Laugh Tale.